pumpkin carving show. This is a new idea we're having, and we're gonna carve some pumpkins today. And we're gonna carve them, show you how to carve them, show you how to scoop them out, and get them ready for your Halloween season. And at the end, we're gonna be making some pumpkin seeds too, roasted pumpkin seeds. So a great way to save every part of the pumpkin. So first, we're gonna start off with the easiest part, which is just taking off the top. You're gonna grab a carver, any nice carver will do, and just easily just go around and make a circle around the top of the pumpkin, around the little nub. That way you can take it out so you can scoop out the pumpkin guts. Make sure you don't cut yourself too. Always be careful. Make sure you have adult supervision. Once you finish that, you can just take it out and you can lay it. We have a paper towel down here. And now next comes the messy part. You're going to start wanting to scoop out all the guts. So grab a scooper and use your hands. Scoop them dry. And we're just going to be putting the guts in this little bin right here. And if you want, you can separate the pumpkin seeds for your pumpkin seeds later. Just make sure you have a place to put your pumpkin guts and seeds because it gets really messy and you don't want to just you don't want to just throw that all over your table. So now you've got all your pumpkin seeds out and all your pumpkin guts, you're going to want to separate them for your seeds later. So just take all your gross pumpkin guts, take out the seeds, and just throw that right in the trash. Throw it away. And when you're all done with that, you're going to want to end up washing them off and getting the rest of that excess teeny bits of goop off to make them perfect for your roasting. That's good. That's it. That's pretty epic. Yeah, and when you think you've done and when you think you've done enough you can take it back to the sink here and you can just rinse them off yeah 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 okay so when you have your pumpkin seeds all washed what you're going to want to do is you're going to take some butter and you're going to want to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds Because what you're gonna, because after that you're gonna want to add some butter to your pumpkin seeds, and then you're gonna want to add some salt so that you, when you put it in the oven, it has a good taste to it. Yes. Yeah. You're gonna want it nice and salty and nice and crisp for a fine, delicious pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are always good when you add salt and butter to them. As Those, with most other as, things. Yeah, as with everything. And about, about a few seconds, and we'll yeah. be ready to rock about and roll. That. Right, you take the butter out. So we have our nice melted butter here. And then we add some a dash of salt. Dash of salt. We just pour That's that it. right over. And stir it up. And just shake it up. And I'm just gonna put that in the sink to rinse it out. And then what you're gonna want to do is after you have all the butter and the salt, you're gonna turn around to we have a tray here, so we're just gonna spread those out on it. I'm just gonna spread them out all out on the tray, and then once you have your tray, tray full of pumpkin seeds, Put them you're in the gonna want to pop it into the oven. And then we're going to wait for those to cook. Yes. 
So, what we have here is we have our delicious pumpkin seeds that we that we just cooked. You can pop that down and enjoy them. Yep. So yeah, we're gonna start with our nice carving of these pumpkins. We're gonna continue carving these pumpkins. First, you're gonna get your carved pumpkin. Make sure it's nice and find the side that's best for you. Usually, you're gonna want either a rounder side or a flatter side. For me, I've chosen a nice flat side. Chasing a nice round side on this one. Yep. And you're gonna wanna, you can either freehand and choose whatever design you want or do what uh, we're doing. Today we're doing designs. some designs. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna do something like tape these onto your pumpkin. Nice and tape it. Any tape will work, probably just scotch tape is fine. Yeah. Make sure your pumpkin's dry too. You don't wanna get wet yeah. and the tape won't stick. That could always be a problem. My tape is gone. I get ready to start carving. You can carve it in various different ways. You could use a stencil and stencil it on to get it fully on there. Or you can just carve through the paper like I'm going to do. So just take it slowly, make sure you don't make any mistakes, and just do what any kid would do. Follow the lines and make your pretty picture. And if you don't want to do it with as big as a knife as Tom's doing it, you could always just choose a smaller one. I, I taped that too high. So, for sure, this is what you're going to be doing. You want to carve it like this. And you're going to want to just work around here. Always cut away from you, by the way. Never cut towards you. That's I a the knife. great idea. Even though with most cheap plastic carving knives, you won't hurt yourself much. Yeah. If it can't really get the pumpkin too much, it might not hurt you, but you still want to be careful. Because after all, aren't we all just pumpkins? Pumpkins in the great vast ocean of other squashes. Very nice work on the design there, Tom. Why, thank you, Sophia. Yeah. Flip the pumpkin around. Flip the pumpkin around so everyone can see it. I'm gonna see a nice, nice view of the pumpkin. about one shape done there. Just gotta find out where it's still sticking on. Tom and I are both doing pretty intricate designs, but you can do whatever suits your skill level. A simple smiley face will always do justice to the Halloween spirit. There we go. Once you're done with your sheets, just put them on a piece of paper. Make sure I ain't getting dirty everywhere. Continue on with your carving. Thank you. 
it goes. Another piece gone. Now it's time to get some more intricate parts of the design. So I'm just gonna strip off this extra paper. Now the more intricate, we're going to go into some smaller carvers, get some more finer lines. You don't always have to follow your design exactly. You can take a peek under the paper to see that everything is going smoothly. Really begin to slowly peel away your design as you start to really memorize it. Get it down. Really take it out well. Yeah. Reveal the details. If you have a more intricate design than Tom had at the beginning, you don't have to take it out in big chunks like he did. You can take it out in the small bits that you do at a time. Again, if you end up not following your design, that's all right. You don't have to follow it too religiously.
How's your design coming, Tom? It's going along great. Let me see yours. Sure, so it's great. Remember, if there's anything too complicated, just take it nice and slow and steady. There's no race to finish. All you gotta do is work out nice. It's not good. Let's cover that up. So eventually you'll get done with your design, as you can see here. 
you have somewhat of a bat here, a nice little, and it's not as close, and some of the details really will only come out in the dark. But the bit more scraping away, it'll be a perfect little decoration for your fine October nights. And you can see mine here. Didn't exactly come out the exact same as the design, but that's just because I took, I took a bit of creative liberty because, well, my paper started falling apart, so I decided to just kind of make it my own design. It's a happy little bat. Not as spooky as, he, as like Tom's might be, but he's just a happy little bat. Got a big little smile. Happy Halloween happy. to everyone. So, from us, me, Tom, and everyone here at Youth Producers, happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Pumpkin. 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 Pumpkin.